Hey, it's October 5th, 2021. I'm Todd Dunn, and I'm back in a boat shed today. I was unable to work in here over the weekend because the yard wasn't working this weekend, and they don't want me in here when there's nobody else here. So I uh, respect that. But today, I am going to cut out bad wood. Now, I, yesterday, I went into town and bought some... Uh, wood to replace this wood and I also bought some new saw blades for my reciprocal or oscillating saw and uh, because the ones I had were so dull that they simply wouldn't cut this wood so what I'm going to do is I can see I missed some fasteners in here I'm going to sand this off get the last of these fasteners out because this is apparently a butt block here and uh, so I'll get those fasteners out and then we will make the necessary cuts. Okay, time to get to work. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is, this is a plank edge here, uh, and I can see when I look at this at an angle, because there's a little more light today, that there are fasteners here that I need to expose, that I missed. So the fact that there are fasteners here says there's a butt block in here, so one of the advantages of what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get rid of this butt block and join this plank to this plank back here and make it all one plank. So the first step today will be to sand off the paint and make sure I know where those fasteners are so I can get them out. Okay, I've got six fasteners to pull out here. So we'll take the bungs out and unscrew those. This shouldn't take, this shouldn't take too long. These are bronze, so they've been in there for a while. A lot of the hull here was rebuilt and refastened in the late 90s before I bought the boat. And when they did that, they used bronze screws. So this plank probably dates from about 1995, which is when I think they did this work. I have to clean out the slots on these screws. If this one is a bronze screw as well. Yep. Okay, get a slightly bigger screwdriver and see about backing those out. Okay, I just have a drill today, not my driver, so I'm just going to set that in there. I've set the clutch at a fairly low value so that hopefully it'll act sort of like a low power driver. One down. These electric uh, drills with the clutch are very nice for this kind of thing. Since you can adjust how much impact it puts on. Okay, these are all coming out nicely. Six nice bronze screws. Spinning. 
which suggests that there's an issue with the uh, with the frame there. So I'm gonna have to pry that one out. So this is pretty simple. I'll just uh, take a smaller screwdriver, hammer it in under the edge, put a little pressure on it, and then back it out by hand. down I'm gonna need it. Ooh, I'll just get this guy out of there. Sorry if I'm blocking the view but I need to be there. <laughs> okay that is six screws removed. I'm just gonna mark my cut line again so I'll be able to see it. Sanded it off part way. Yeah, it's right here. Now we'll look for the bottom edge of this plank. Right here is where I want to cut to, and up here. All right, time to get the oscillating saw and start cutting. Camera shut itself off, so. I'll you won't see that cut, it went very quickly. We'll do this one now. I'm just going to mark the top and the bottom so that I don't overcut. And actually, here's the plank end. I think I'll just cut right there. blade makes a big difference in how well this cuts. Now I'm just gonna work on splitting this plank to get it out of here and pop it out. I'll start here maybe. go. There she is. Now we just have to get this upper part off. There's a butt block on the upper frame. Yeah, that's going to pull out easily. And I'll just have to use a chisel to clean up the edges a little bit. There's cotton and caulking compound in there. There we go. So, that one is ready to replace. And that came out pretty easily. And you can see here where the frames are all sistered. These are old original frames. They're not in bad shape, but you know, we'll put the screws into the sistered frames, which also date from that 1995 rebuild I alluded to earlier. So that's what's involved in pulling one of these out. Pretty straightforward, just takes a few minutes. And the next step will be, here's the butt block that I pulled out. Uh, the next step is gonna to be to cut the scarfs into the plank ends on either end. Now, since I've got this nice sharp blade, I think I will go ahead and cut one of these scarfs just to illustrate how I go about doing it. So let me get set up to do that and then we can make the cut. Okay, this is where the first scarf I'm gonna cut is gonna go and it's gonna go from zero depth right here to the full depth 
seven eighths of an inch of the plank right here. And what I've done is drawn three vertical lines here, dividing it into four parts. And I'm gonna cut one fourth of the depth here and just make a vertical cut, one fourth of the depth of the total cut, half the depth of the total cut and three quarters. And these are gonna end up being guidelines when I cut the scarf in so that when I get to the bottom of one of these cuts, I know I'm at the right depth. So basically this blade has the uh, depth marked on it. So I'm just gonna cut until I get to that depth along each of these cut lines. That's pretty much it. So what I want to do now is make my cuts. I cut starting here, angled down through there, and I want to hit the ideally hit the bottom of each of those cuts. So we'll just start here. I'm just gonna run a vertical line. This is the starting reference. And We'll get going on our cut. Standing. Okay, I'm just going to use the screwdriver to pry these pieces out and see how it came out. Looks like I need to make a little bit more of a cut up here. I may have actually forgotten to do that bit. So we'll just run the saw in and see how it comes out. I think I did forget to cut that. Now I'll just pry that out. There we go. And now we will make the end cut here. And this will tell me how much more I have to do. Okay, I've got probably a quarter inch more to go there. I didn't cut this deep enough. So basically at this point, what I'm gonna do is just keep cutting until I get pretty close to a feather edge here. The last little bit will be cleaned up with sanding and a hand plane to make my scarf surface. And right now it looks pretty crummy, but by the time I get finished, it'll look okay. So let me do that and we'll have this ready for final cleanup. to between a, an eighth and a sixteenth. So I've got a pretty good cut here. Looks like I'm a little 
shallow in there. But what I'm going to do now to finish that, uh, well, not now, but the next time I'm here, is I will take my hand plane and plane this down until I have a nice straight line through there. But that's the basis of my scarf. And right here, I'm pretty nearly a feather edge there. It gets up to, oh, about 3 16 at the bottom. So I'll take a little bit more off the bottom right now. close now. Right here is the only really thick spot. And that's the basis of the scarf. That took maybe 12 or 13 minutes altogether. And I'll just have to do some cleanup, get this putty and the old caulking compound out. And we will have a scarf there. And the reason I cut these before I do the plank ends is I never know exactly how perfect this is going to come out. So I've made the, I'll get this cleaned up and then we will measure the actual scarf that I cut and I'll use that uh, to mark my plank end to cut the matching scarf. Okay, that's all I'm going to talk about today. I'm no point in showing you, you me doing the other three places I have to do this and the other uh, six scarves that I have to cut, but uh, that's that. Okay, well that's it for today. Uh, I'm gonna do this three more times and cut six more scarves and then we'll have the bad wood out of the boat and I'll be ready to start prepping new wood, which I bought yesterday, to go into the boat. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't, why don't you consider subscribing to my channel to see more content like this. Thanks again for watching.